improper fractions to mix numbers. This is called an improper fraction because you can't have 28 twelves. So what you have to do is see how many twelves go into 28, which is 2, so we write 2. Then you see how many are left, which is 4, so we write 4 because we have 12 all together and 4 plus 24 is 28. Now we are going to turn it around and do it the opposite way. We are going to work out how to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. For example, if we had this sum, we would times 12 by 3 because we have 3 whole ones, so that would be 36. Then we have to add on 4 because there is 4 left, which is 40, which would make it the top number of our fraction. And because the denominator is 12, we put 12 underneath 40, so the improper fraction is 40 12. Mixed numbers to improper fractions. In this presentation, we are going to be showing you how to turn improper fractions to mixed numbers. This is an improper fraction. It is an improper fraction because the number is bigger than the bottom. This is a mixed number. Go on to the next page to see how we can get an improper fraction to a mixed number. Try these. Try, Try these. Bye, Bye Emma and Eloise. We are doing about fractions, decimals and percentages. We will first explain how to work them out. One whole is equal to 100%. That is because it is a full one. The decimal is 1.0 because there are no units to go into it. One half is equal to 0.5. We have 0.5 and add it onto 0.5. You will get a whole one. So the percentage is 50% because that's half of 100% equaling to one half. One quarter. One quarter is equal to 25% because 25 added four times equals 100%. A quarter has four parts to it. One third may seem like it would be 0.3 and 30% because 30% added together Three times doesn't get you to 100, it gets you to 90. So it would be 33.3 recurring. One fifth is 0.2 and 20%. That's because 20 times by 5 equals 100, and 100 is one whole. <coughs> one tenth is equal to 10%. That's because, where is it? That's, That's because. because 10 times 10 is 100, and that equals a whole one. So the decimal will be 0.1, because 0.1 add 9 equals 1.0, which is a whole one. The same is pair up, but with threes. You have to match three cards so that they are the correct fraction, decimal, and percentage. Pick the first card. Now, for a third time, 20%. Be the lucky match. One. <laughs> One fifth. We have a pair. Now to find the third. One. Let's hope we're correct. One whole one. Oh, my God. 50%. <laughs> We have a hole. That one seems to be popping up a lot. Here we have three quarters. <laughs> it's 0.5. Not a match. We are going to do our presentation on equivalent fractions. Lissy is going to do fifths, I'm going to do halves, and Emma is going to do thirds. Three six, it's the same as two six twelve, so it's just like showing the same. This is in one whole like three six. These are all split into three six, three parts of one six, and when you break them down like in half it makes it up to six twelve. So that becomes 12 and then breaks the little ones down into 6. This is a whole and then when you take this out, this is a fifth and then two fifths 
split in half. No, a fifth split in half so is one ten. This is a whole, so if this one, this is one fifth, well then if you half each one of the fifths, you can make it into tenths. So this would be one tenth. So that would be one fifth or two tenths. This is a whole, so if this one, this is one fifth. Well then, if you half each one of the fifths, you can make it into tenths. So this would be one tenth. So that would be one fifth or two tenths. Okay, so I've got a cylinder split into three, which is each one of these is one third. So if I took that, that would be one third, that would be one third, and that would be one third. But if I split it again into another section, this would be into six. So then we've got like one sixth, one sixth, like all the way down. Welcome to my name is Sarah Ford's presentation. I am Chelsea Hames. The fraction grid put fractions in uh, order from one half down to a twelfth or more. And it helps you figure out what's bigger and smaller. Our work is pretty explanatory in how you do it, but if you need any help there are examples um, for corresponding to each question. Right, there's 100 percent. Half of it will be 50, so then two fifties will equal 100 percent, and half it again will be 25 percent, which is a quarter. Then, if you have a whole 100 percent, then take 25 percent. It will be 75 percent, which would equal three quarters, as it shows there. When you half a fraction, you double the denominator if the numerator in one. A hundred squares. You can um, you can half them by putting a line down the middle, like we have there, um, to make fifty squares. And to do it again, you put another line through across horizontally to make twenty-five squares. This in the shaded area is fifty-two percent, because the unshaded area is forty-eight percent. This is five percent. How do I know that? Because one row has 10 and I've only shaded half of them. This is 30% because there is 30 out of 100 squares shaded. It's 50%, also known as one half or 0.5. Alex, George, Josh and Gabriel. Fractions, Fractions of, of quantities! quantities. Yeah. Number two, number two, page two, um, fractions. Can you figure this out? There are 12 squares of chocolate, find half of them. The answer is six. These are divided by two, which gives us half. Give it in. Find half of 200 ml and 500 ml. To help you, draw diagrams like this. Find the quarter of 200 mil. To find the quarter, you halve it, then halve it again. In other words, you divide it by four. Always remember this, the denominator is what you divide by. 200 mil divided by four equals 50 mil. 50 mil equals a quarter. Finding one sixth of 500 mil. One sixth of 500 mil. 
To find uh, to find one one six for five hundred million, you divide by six. It equals eighty three point three three recurring. Um, and to get back, you times by six. Finding one eighth of two hundred mil. To find one eighth of two hundred mil, you must divide by two hundred. Divide two hundred by eight, or half two hundred. Half two hundred mil. Three times. Uh, three times, and the answer is twenty five mil. One eighth of two hundred mil. Oosh. Finding one third of two hundred mil. To find one third of two hundred mil, you divide two hundred by three. Which equals 66.66. <laughs> and to get three thirds again, you times by three. Nice banana. To find one sixteenth of 500 mil, you divide by 16, which equals 31.25. And if you want 16 sixteenths, you times it to get a full glass. To find one ninth of 500 mil, you divide by nine, which gives you 55.55. To get back, times by nine. We are going to show you how to put fractions in order of size. So we put the whole at the start. Then in decreasing size, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the fraction. For the trickier ones, you work them out by doing this. This is our presentation on fractions, decimals and percentages that me and Caitlin put together. I have done the PowerPoint and Caitlin has done the presentation. <laughs>